Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at one of my favorite layouts, a TKL. Now this is a TKL from Red Dragon, and I know I recently did one on the um, low profile. This one's a little bit different. Um, I don't know if it's the newer or the older version. Um, Red Dragon has currently been updating all of their keyboards uh, with three and five pin hot swap compatibility as well as better dampening but they do still have stock on several keyboards that still have the old milmax style otemu hot swap socket so they'll only work with certain switches though they were will work with kazoo switches just so you know um anyway uh they've sent me this keyboard out to take a look at they kind of just let you know they actually tell me like the day that i get tracking you know that hey you're going to delivery today i'm like huh and rad dragon will email me or they did this time anyway they've done it before they email me and they're like hey we sent you some keyboards they should be there soon and i'm like yeah i just got tracking information or it just got delivered <laughs> and they're like hope you like them let us know what you think so uh they've actually never said you have to review this keyboard um or i have to say anything they've actually uh told me a few times because and i know they watch my videos because they will mention it in you know emails that we go back and forth um, they'll say oh with that you know so and so blah 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 and the they have taken input that i've said and they say we, we're taking it to the team now are they really i don't know if they're actually taking my input to the design team but this is not the first company that has said so so who knows i'd like to believe that they're listening to me and i'm hopefully being a good representative voice for the community or at least a good portion of the community and in the end i just hope that this hobby gets better for all involved i mean if the corporations are going to listen the manufacturers are going to listen and they're going to provide us the products that we're looking for then you know we're going to be happy especially if they're in stock and at an affordable price because i mean one shouldn't have to sacrifice a mortgage payment for a keyboard Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the Vishnu. And here we are with the Red Dragon Vishnu K596 um, TKL. Uh, I do believe this is a three mode, yeah, wired and wireless. And it has um, the Chroma RGB. I I like RGB on my keyboard, but I, beyond that, I mean, RGB is nice for like lighting up under cabinets and, and dark closets and stuff like that. But um more for utility than anything else i'd like it on my keyboard this is a it does come with i believe it's a magnetic wrist rest and i forgot what size the battery is but um besides what is it the cave one there's not a lot of decals that are wireless now there's more but they're just there's not that many there's there's not as many decals as i thought there would be there seems to be more 60 percent than anything else but I'm preferential to uh, TKL. So this does have the barrel encoder as the other one did, the low profile, but this has regular switches. So let's go ahead, open up the box and see what we got. As always, we're greeted with the familiar Red Dragon logo. So setting the keyboard off to the side, I just want to take a look at what's in the box. We got uh, the magnetic uh, wrist rest, like I thought. It's pretty light, but I'm getting used to hard. I actually think I prefer hard. Um, you can see that it's magnetic. It was stuck to this before, so. <laughs> Along with that, we do have, I uh, wonder that this is, I'm going to guess this one's the Otemu because they don't, they don't stick the um, plastic keycap pullers in there anymore. Please, if you get these, just throw them away. Uh, there, there's a very good chance that they, they will scratch your keycap. And we have, oh, this is actually a nice nylon braided uh, with the magnet. USB A to USB C cable, and as Red Dragon is always tend to do, they include some extra switches in the box because that is a very nice thing to do. And here we are with the Red Dragon K596 Vishnu. I gotta say, this thing is a beast. Like, when I picked it up and pulled it out of the box, I'm like, Am I, did I get a time machine? This is a keyboard from, this is what I remember keyboards feeling like. 
uh, back in the day. I mean, solid. Something that, you know, the zombies just so happened to come to the office that day. You were going to take at least a couple of them out with your keyboard. Um, unless you had your skateboard there that day, that is. Skater die, man. Skater die. Anyway, uh, it's extremely, I mean, it's, it's solid. It feels very solid. And the lines on it, they're very, um, uh, what's that word? Not utilitarian, but Spartan almost. Um, just very, very sharp, rough, um, kind of in your face. But I think I kind of like it. I mean, there's lines everywhere. You got the USB port in the middle. You've got your, uh, these are programmable keys. These are actual real switches. So you've got more than 87 keys, uh, plus five, so the 92. But these are just soft keys. These are multimedia, but these are programmable as macros. Um, here's the volume control, although you can do volume with this. On the other one, you can also do lights, but I don't know if that's the case here. Um, you have light controls uh, and profiles. I do think they have profiles that are separate layers that you can't go. You can choose one or the other. Um, and it's got the Red Dragon. Now let's go ahead and take a look here at these switches. Otemu. Mm? Otemu. Not only Otemu, but the rate oh the really raised led that thing is up there at least like three four millimeters maybe more so it's not an smd flush so if you do find switches at work you're going to have to make sure they have that led window um let me see do we have nope we don't have any plate pcb and we do not have any foam down at the bottom so the weight of this thing So obviously the part of it is the plate and I guess that is steel yep. the plate steel the weight appears to be a combination of both the plate and the battery um, which I'm going to assume is pretty massive I don't know what it is at the moment let me go ahead and put this back in now the last regular well not low profile keyboard I took a look at from my dragon that was still the Otemu had some pretty awful stabilizers. Let's see if that's the case here. Yep, same thing. See how much those things shake? They're called stabilizers because they are supposed to be stable to stabilize the big keys. You can't be stabling, stabilizing anything if you're not stable on your own. So you can hear what that sounds like. It's just, it's not, it's not a pleasant sound. You can hear the ticking. So Red Dragon, I really, 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 really implore you. Do better with your stabilizers. It's not just about just lubricating them. You got to make sure that they fit on the plate properly. That these things feel like they're a millimeter off or more. So I implore you, please do something about those stabilizers. Otherwise, it sounds like your standard um, Red Dragon stock keyboard. And we do have the magnetic wrist rest, and oh, that actually, that's a good wrist rest. Too many of the magnetic wrist rest, if you pull on it, it just comes off. This one actually pulls the keyboard with it, and like I said, this keyboard is heavy. So these are some strong mag, wow, it's picking up. Oh, oops. So um, that's a, um, that's a pretty good, uh, this wrist rest is not going anywhere. It's going to stay there. And I actually like that it has a bit of a texture. Yeah. I got to say, this one's definitely one I'm going to come back to on mod. Let's go ahead and plug it up and see what the lights look like. 
Oh, that one came on instantly. Now this one, I thought Chroma had something to do with it. The other ones that I've been taking a look at that had Chroma, their LEDs just were not bright. Here I can actually see the lights. Um, It's easy to figure out to get to the lights. We have multimedia controls on the function keys. We have these keys that we can program as macros. Um, we have our function key. We have our brightness over here with function. Not sure what the D and the reset is. Um, I believe that you program these by hitting function, the key, doing what you want. like and then hitting the key again. So uh, being able to program macros straight from the keyboard, that's pretty cool. And the fact that it actually changes the color to let you know that it's been programmed in a sub that I do believe that this one is reset to reset the entire keyboard. Oh, I mean not function space. Mm, maybe not. Probably should read the manual. <laughs> All right, just to be clear, this keyboard is wireless, but only 2.4, it does not have Bluetooth. So this key will control volume if it's turned on, and it's turned on, it's gonna control the brightness of the LEDs. When I come back to it, I'm definitely gonna take a look at the software. Let's get technical. Today we're taking a look at the K596 Vishnu, a two mode TKL with 10 macros and a barrel roller from Red Dragon. This keyboard comes weighing in at 1,062 grams without the included magnetic wrist rest. It has a 2400 milliamp hour battery and it is compatible with Chroma RGB. It is preloaded with Red Dragon, Otemu on lube red switches, and includes absolutely no dampening for the plate, PCB, or the case. The chin of this keyboard sits low at 19 millimeters, while the back sits at 27 millimeters, providing for a default typing angle of 4 degrees. Extending the only included feet will raise the back up to 38 millimeters, providing for a default typing angle of 9 degrees. This keyboard manufacturer retails for $74.99. This keyboard is loaded with a 2400 milliamp hour battery, which is actually kind of big for Red Dragon. I don't know what kind of power savings they do, but they get a lot more juice out of batteries than I've seen other keyboards do. Um, this one, it comes extremely hefty. Um, I want to believe that they're just getting rid of inventory and they kind of just want to make this move. I see it, it is retailed for $74.99, but I see a lot of places where it sells, where it's on sale um, at the Red Dragon shop with their coupons or through even Amazon and eBay for around $50. So they're probably just trying to move stock so they can uh, introduce the new revision which should have the uh, five pin compatible hot swap sockets. Uh, despite this being uh, one of the older uh, style PCBs with those Momac mm -hmm. sockets, I actually kind of like this. Um, I actually may end up using these. There are definitely things that I type out do many times a day and I do build in macros into function keys and I use them but just not as often because sometimes I'm like hey, did I program this thing uh, I don't know I'll just type it out but this one I'll be able to just hit it and go so um, I do want to get into this I want to put some dampening inside of this keyboard and I want to switch out the switches for some lubed reds because I know um, the red dragon switches are Surprisingly enough, with a little bit of lube on the spring leaf and the uh, spring, they actually sound quite decent. They have a nice soft tap bottom out that is actually pleasant. So I'm actually surprised, but then again, I'm not. Anyway, um, this keyboard has, it's its not your easy portable keyboard. I think this, this is meant more to be a, a land gaming keyboard like all right i'm taking my rig you know because this this weighs um you know a kilo over a kilo so putting this in your laptop bag which 
may not fit unless you have a 15 or 17 inch laptop it's going to add some weight so i don't think it's much of a powerful one but it does have uh, they said nkro over um over the 2.4 they don't have bluetooth 2.4 and wired but i didn't see anything about the polling rate so i don't know what the polling rate is over the 2.4 but i do know that a lot of people swear by 2.4 than bluetooth i personally have better luck with um bluetooth 5.0 but that's just me anyway i'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with the stock sound test of this vishnu k596 uh, there'll be links down below i think i have a discount code as well um, in case you guys are interested in picking one up and taking a look at it or you guys can wait until they revamp it and uh, hopefully they'll send me one out to take a look at it then but like i said this one is um it's interesting so I'm going to get in there and, and take a look at it. I have not seen any TKL that has this body style. So, um, and the magnetic wrist rest on this thing is strong. It's almost surgically strong. So anyway, if you guys have any ideas, thoughts, suggestions for when I do come to mod this keyboard, please put them in the comments down below. Anyway, uh, I'll leave you guys with the stock sound test of the k596 vishnu from red dragon and until the next transmission do keep calm and keyboard on